Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Arika Adorn. I know I look super busted right now, but I'm about to be popping in a second. Um, I'm here to show you guys how I sew in my U-part wig and with minimal leave out on the side and also on the top. Um, just FYI, um, if you guys wonder where my eyelashes are from, these are actually eyelash extensions I just got done today by Brow Down by Mika. I'll leave her Instagram and her social media down in my description box so you guys can check her out. If you guys live in the DMV area, I definitely recommend for you guys to get your eyelashes done from her. Let me zoom in real quick so y'all can see they are gorgeous do y'all see these volume lashes they are so popping and i love them so much especially since i'm going on my trip tomorrow i don't have to worry about it or anything okay so moving on about this hair tutorial this hair that i'm gonna have installed is from Sally hair company if you guys watch my videos you know this is my favorite hair company this is actually the same hair um as the 26 inches hair review that i'll leave down in the description box as well i made a whole video about how much i love this hair and the pros and cons about it all i did was sew it into a u-part wig instead of a frontal wig and i dyed the bundles black and here this is how my braid pattern is i had a friend go ahead and just braid my hair up for me i have my anchoring braid that's going to go around here which is where i'm going to actually sew down the wig and then i have the leave out minimal leave out on the sides here and then um, i have it going pretty far back for my leave out so i'm going to start off with one side at a time Okay, and I'm just going to lay it on top and then really you're just making sure you're getting that braid underneath and then you're going to go right on top. And when you do so, if you want to be all professional and all, you can put, wrap the thread one time around the base of the needle and then pull it through. If you made you part wigs or just wigs in general, this is basically the exact same sewing method. I'm just going to show you basically how I do it and how I blend out my blend my leave out with this. So I'm going to go through the actual braid like you can kind of you can feel it. Then I'm going to go through from the track up here. And then I'm going to take this thread and then wrap it and then pull it through. Just, I usually just guide it because if I don't, it will start tangling. I don't want the thread to tangle and then I have to start over if I can't take the knot out. So I usually like to guide it. Okay, and then once I do a few, I wrap it twice. It just makes it more secure that way. So. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going back. Okay, so now I basically went ahead and sewed down both sides. As you can tell, I'm not that great at it, but at the end, everything will work out. So next, I'm going to take the side braids and sew this side down too. Okay, so basically, 
Now that I did this side, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to come back and show you how I blend the leaf out. Okay, so now I have it sewed in. I'm not the best at sewing actually at all, but trust me, once everything is blended, it will look fine. So as you can see here, I have it braided and you can see all the tracks and stuff. And then I got it braided down here. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my leave out. So I'm going to go ahead and just part my hair how I want to part it. This is where you probably would take your Demon brush and make sure your hair is detangled and all. But the way my Demon brush is upstairs and I don't feel like getting it, so I'm just going to brush it out with a bristle brush. Don't do this at home. But I did already detangle my hair beforehand anyway when I got my cornrows, so it shouldn't be that tangled or anything. So I'm just going to brush out my leave out everywhere. I haven't, like parted it yet how I want to part it but right now I'm just gonna make sure everything's brushed out okay and then once I got it brushed out this is where I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my part is laid the way I want it to okay so I like my part the way it is and so now I'm just going to take out this little braid for my, my leave out on the side. Okay, so that's all good. So I'm going to start by going ahead and spraying my hair with the Tresemme as my heat protector. I'm going to brush that through. I'm going to use this comb now since I already used my bristle, bristle brush. I'm going to comb it. And then I'm going to use two things from the She Is Bomb collection. This wax stick, this helps um, give your hair like more texture. And when I saw people using it on the online on social media, I saw them use it to help blend your leave out with your um, with your hair. So I'm gonna do that, making sure I get a good amount in. so basically this is with my leave out blended in with my hair which looks bomb so now i'm going to go ahead and get to my baby hairs i'm going to use the bomb edge control i made a video reviewing this edge control also i'll leave this down in the description box and then i'm going to use my edge control brush i'm going to apply a lot a good amount
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I think it looks very natural. And my hair blends in very, very well with this hair. And I'll leave all this hair also, like the links and stuff, for where you can purchase it down in the description box as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys all in my next one.